Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. So in yesterday's painting, which was this? This is the dried piece. The metallics look really pretty. I think this will look nice once it's varnished. Um, what I discovered was, you know, if I do this, the, the blue kind of comes down pretty far. And you can see, if I can get in on that close enough, like within the cells, you can see the colors that are underneath. And I'm gonna use that as a guide to um, where I need my leaves and where I need my flowers. Uh, and I'm not going to put, actually, I'm not gonna put any green in this area. That kinda messed it up for me. So, gonna basically try the same thing, just an improved version. I did add um, the Artist Loft Metallic Red. To that, I added a bit of the Artist Loft Old Gold. The other colors I have going are the Metallic Leaf Green, Silver, Metallic Cobalt Blue, copper, and for my swipe color, Flow Acrylic. I mixed a tiny bit of Floetrol in with those and the rest is the Deco Art Pouring Medium. That stuff dries up quicker, it sets faster than Floetrol alone. Floetrol extends your work time and it's self-leveling. So when you're trying to do like these balloon kisses, that's not really what what you want. But I do find I like the way the paint moves when I add just a little bit, and I mean just a little bit of flow draw, like just a little in the bottom of the cup be before I add my paint. Um, metallics in particular when you mix them they can get lumpy if you add too much pouring medium to it at one time so i add just a tiny bit plus putting the pouring medium on the bottom of your cup keeps the paint from sticking to your cup so a lot of times you'll find when you get to the bottom of your cup if you don't do it that way it's like a lot thicker and you've actually missed out on some of that paint this way i feel gets the uh, majority of the paint mixed in. Okay, pro tip of the day. So let's get this party started, shall we? To each of these colors, I have added one drop of the OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. That is my silicone that I'm using. So normally, if I'm using silicone in a paint, that's going straight on the canvas, I lay down a base coat, but because we're doing the balloon kisses, it would pull that base coat color up. That's not what we want. So my paints are mixed extra thick so that it has a better chance of um, adhering to the canvas with the silicone in it. There's less of a chance of getting those pits when it's a little bit thicker, uh, but also it sets up faster um, I think thicker is the way to go for this technique. Okay, so let's lay down our green. And I'm not going quite as high up with the green as I did last time. This stuff is very thick already. 
So I think we should be good. I hope. Okay, and now we'll do the sky. This is the cobalt blue, metallic cobalt blue mixed with silver to lighten it up a bit. Just to give a little bit of dimension to the color. Same color family, just uh, a little brighter. And then this is silver with a touch of the cobalt blue. I've been using the sheet protectors. I got the wrong kind of sheet protector. They are too light. They're hard to control. So I'm going back to what I know, which is the dampened paper towel. Not wet, just damp, just enough to give it some weight. I have made my swipe paint just a bit thinner than the rest of the paints. At least they were thinner, was thinner. This is thickened up just a hair. And I regret already adding my silicone to this. Note to self, add silicone just before pouring. Because I've had to add water to this and now I've probably just made those silicone cells very small. I'm not sure why it skipped over this area, but we can just balloon those, so that's not tragic. Or another option, we could just
Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a while. I'm gonna let it set up even more and um, and I will come back. Okay, this has been sitting for about an hour. And, um, you know, as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing potential for other kinds of paintings. It's one of the things I love about this art form is how you do one thing and it gives you an idea for something else and it it's just kind of never ending stream of ideas anyway i have some cool ideas coming up all right so first i'm going to start with the leaves too much Now, I made this paint pretty thick, and it still seems like it might pull off too much. I'm trying to be very light. I don't want to overdo it with the green. I do like having that, the dark cells happening in there. So now I'm going to move on to the flowers. Hope that area is dry enough. My idea is that the flowers that would be closest to you would be bigger. So I'm not going to make these flowers go all the way up. I kind of want to look like that is in the background and the bigger flowers are in the foreground. We'll see how this works out. So nothing happened there, it's just kind of a red blob. So I just put a little dab of gold on there just to give it something. I think one more flower. Well, kind of the same thing happened, so let's do that again. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here it is. It turned out better than yesterday's. Definitely an interesting technique. You know, and it's kind of like uh, with a Monet painting, when you're up close, it doesn't look like much. But when you zoom out, it looks like flowers in a field. I might have some fun with that. So, uh, I hope you learned something. I did. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my uh, CD pre-order GoFundMe campaign. Uh, I'm kind of telling you about that instead of my PayPal thing because, you know. <laughs> uh, check out the description box below for links to my GoFundMe, which is for uh, my pre-order campaign for my CD. My third CD, it is not charity. There are lots of cool packages, CDs, paintings, all kinds of good stuff. So check out that link. Also, my Amazon store. Anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Go make some art. Our Facebook group. Check us out over there. Post your masterpieces. Ask any questions. Get inspiration. And my website, GinaDeLuca.net. If you would like to purchase my art or my music, it can be found there. All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.